Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm playing on my wife's account, the lower level 46 account, guys. And after much consideration and testing the warm waters <laughs> off my beach, um, I've decided that tank medic are the, pretty much the way to go, guys, when going low level. And what I mean by that is you're allowed to use that scout feature when you're taking on player bases and NPC bases. That's for you to determine the best route for your troops. Um, now, obviously, as you level up and you get into the 50s and 60s, um, you're going to have to find new tactics. Although tank medics still work, um, depending on if bases are boosted with ice or what have you. Um, but... Uh, Tank Medic, I would say, would be the easiest way to go to, to, to taking care of your bases on your map if you're low level. Um, and if you have the hero, I would suggest you use uh, Captain Everspark, guys. Um, what I like about Everspark is the fact that every few seconds or so, she farts critters, okay? That's free GBE critters for free. <laughs> and I think that's really cool because you need stuff to distract your... Uh, to distract for your troops and what better way than use ever spark and her farting critters um what i also like the perk i like to use with ever spark is the universal remote obviously my wife's at level one right now with that and um what that does is if you need to use the actual perk um you can actually have an uh, an actual building targeted and um the actual other target uh, other buildings will target that and destroy it and that'll also be a distraction for your tanks as well so I like to keep that in hand in, in, in my pocket while I'm playing, but uh, Everspark is the way to go when you're playing with tanks, guys, and medics. Now, obviously, one con about using this troop is each tank, it costs three GBE per tank to deploy onto the beach because they're so heavy. So in this case, I have, what, two, four, six, eight, ten tanks times three is 30 GBE, guys, right? Let me do my math right. Two, four, six, eight, ten times three is 30. So you need 30 GBE reserved for just deploying your tanks. So you have to use your noggin and determine whether or not you can actually take care of these bases and not overuse your GBE prior to deploying your tanks. So in this case, guys, my wife has um, 17 and 44 is 61 GBE off the, the cups, guys. That is with her statues unboosted off 61 uh, GBE so that means she has 31 GBE to use at her disposal prior to deploying her troops um, because you need 30 so 30 and 31 is 61 and thus now if you have statues guys and you you boost I suggest if you want to boost your statues and clear your map do it and 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 if you have a power stone chance uh boost it as well so you can actually try to get back those power stones and or crystals um to come come back and get your uh get your power powder and your your crystals so they can coincide and basically equal out and you can kind of get back your power powder um so my wife right now has 16 power powder let's go to her uh, sculptor and it shows that we can deploy a resource reward statue. We're going to actually salvage that and give her a crystal. And you can see that she has 16 uh, power powders, guys. So what I'm going to do here today is I'm going to boost her GBE uh, masterpiece. 22, not the greatest, but we'll do that. We'll boost that to give it a kick. We'll boost her big power stone chance of 69%. We'll boost that. We'll boost her resource reward of 43% so we can get some nice loot. And then we'll actually boost her troop damage right there. And uh, we'll go back and, uh, and boost the troop health. That way that'll boost the tank's health. And uh, that will help definitely. So with the boosted statues on GBE, guys, now I carry, uh, what, 54, 64, 71 GBE, guys. 71 GBE. So now I'm able to use 41 GBE prior to deploy my troops. And that's awesome. Um, also to note too guys when you're doing this you want to definitely check your artillery and barrage settings making sure because and when you're playing tank medic you want to take out the defenses that are going to do more harm to your tanks than not uh, boom cannons are the worst you definitely want to watch out for the boom cannons and make sure that you take out the boom cannons first um, and track along that, de that that destroyed boom cannon so you, the other ones aren't in reach, what have you. You got to just, that's why you use the scout feature, guys, to make sure you, you get your path on straight. So my uh, 
A barrage here at level 9 does 6,105 damage. Now, obviously, this is splash damage a barrage. These missiles fly all over the place. And uh, for the most part, they if you aim at the direct, it's going to do the most damage. But it is splash damage uh, a weapon. And that is. So 6,105. And my artilleries are 3,017. That's breaking about 9,000, you know... 100 not nine, 90 100 um dis, dis, uh, uh damage for the both of those so keep that in mind too guys as you're attack, attacking so let me kind of go out here into the archipelago and we will look now and see let's go look to this base here let's find a base where is a player base where is a player base my wife hasn't cleared her map okay well now i'm going against 48s 47s guys and that's just you kind of it'll pair you with your your actual level and your victory points i think it's the victory points they pair you most with but uh let's check out uh uh Devis, uh i want to say devast 1a De devastia i don't know so we're gonna scout guys that's the best thing you can do and look exactly where the boom cannons are. The cannons also can do some damage, but they're not as bad as the boom cannons, guys. So what I'm looking here, guys, I see that he has two boom cannons on the right side of the actual HQ. This boom cannon can reach if your tanks are on the other side, I believe. They'll just be on the cusp of that outer ring. But uh, this one won't, and you're pretty good to go. Now, you obviously want to pick the side that is going to take that's going to take less damage to your tanks and make you succeed in taking down these bases. So, a uh, left side looks about beefy to me, guys. If you look at all this free GBE from the residences and gold storage, um, you're going to collect some more GBE as you destroy these towers. So, that gives time for you to actually get some more GBE, to knock out, to shock, to do whatever you got to do to take out these defenses. Um, so, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to attack here and use my GBE to destroy this boom cannon. And I'm going to go after this shock launcher because that will be a pest, guys and slow my tanks down and you don't want that um, what I would uh, also consider to sniper towers can be pesky they can they fire quick I think it's like every what three or uh, every two seconds or something like that they shoot and they do some pretty good damage I will say um, and uh, depending on your troops and your tanks and the, their, their levels you're gonna find it that they will drain fast their health uh, I don't know if the medics can keep up with uh, actually healing your tanks as if a bunch of tank if a bunch of sniper towers are targeting your tanks so basically what you want to do here is um, just again gather GBE and if you have to shock shock don't worry about that and uh, you should be fine so let's just jump in guys let me quit blabbing off and see what I mean here now obviously too guys you want to I'm gonna actually flare right over uh, well actually we'll flare right now over here and get our tanks out and everybody and ever spark and it takes them a while to get there so let's get up there and we'll actually um, barrage um, the boom cannon and the, the the shock launcher and that boom cannon is just out beautiful and we're gonna take care of that shock launcher now and now we're we're sitting pretty pretty guys and there's some critters that ever spark let off we are behind the trees guys and what we're gonna do here is let our tanks gonna get some GBE we have 24 left now and uh, letting our tanks kind of just do what they got to do I love the fact that uh, Everspark again takes out and let farts out critters. It's pretty cool. And I love the fact that uh, the rockets guys have no really impact on your tanks. Don't worry about your uh, the rocket launchers. Um, so what we're going to do here, guys, is I'm going to flare way up here again to get out of those cannon ranges. We don't want our tanks to get into cannon range. And uh, just let them kind of get this GBE that we're going to have flame. We're going to have rocket launchers, flamethrowers. Uh, I think the tanks can actually outdo the flamethrowers. But uh, right here, I can see we're going to go for this other boom cannon. We want to get rid of that guy as well. And, and then now I'm going to use a shock point here to actually shock all those cannons guys and why our troops are kind of going after them um, i love the critters because they distract uh, for us temporarily let's actually get that boom cannon right there and why did i shock it i didn't mean to shock it that was meant for an artillery guys meant for an artillery and i'm actually gonna go way up here now guys away i'm gonna smoke because that tank is hurting on uh damage and on his hp so we're gonna actually go up to here and then our troops now should be actually taking out we're going to try to take out this uh cannon here because he's going to be a pest one more artillery should do it and if you look at the critters guys they are the sole i mean it's awesome we can also take out we can do a, a we can also do a captain ever spark uh, hack and the troops deflect from your troops to take out the hack 
troop uh, defense and it's pretty epic so again guys a guy with uh, ice on his base not boosted uh, we lost no troops hooray casualties nothing and we get three red magma fragments guys so that is how you do it try to let's go let's try to take on moss guys now, i'm not saying every attack you'll 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 have no casualties i i'm sure there will be but the, the fact of the matter is is you need to um just uh the victory is what you need okay so what i'm looking at now guys is i see this guy's base his hq's on the right here and he does have a shock blaster one um so what i was thinking of doing is um the shock blaster one can be a pest i will say um but uh what we're gonna do here is if you look at these boom cannons this boom cannon right here um if we get above the hq on the far right he will be out of range um, the actual shock blaster will be in range. That's probably one defense we'll try to take care of, guys. Uh, this boom cannon also needs to be taken care of. It's only at 6,200 health. That is actually, I believe, two artilleries, and that thing is bye-bye. So that's what I will do there. And um, what we'll do is we'll get rid of this one as well. That's 7,500. We can actually combine our artilleries or barrage and get this mortar as well to actually get some GBE back. So let's try this, guys, and see what we come up with. Now, again, you have to mind you, if we're going all the way around here, we got to hurry it up because time is of the essence here. You don't have forever on these bases, and we got to do it. So let's jump in right now and see what we can do. So let's get rid of this guy over here. We'll, we'll go one artillery here, get that gold storage. We'll get one more to get the gold storage and the boom cannon. Oh, actually, the boom cannon was a little bit more HP than I thought, and uh, we used three artilleries instead. We'll actually now barrage this boom cannon right here. Um, trying to get some splash damage with that shock launcher because we want that out as well. We'll actually destroy, uh, we'll get that, and then we'll get uh, this boom cannon right here. And what we'll do now is we'll let our tanks out over on the side here. And uh, rocket's going to hit, but it's not a big deal. We're going to still work on this shock launcher, guys, here. We need the shock launcher gone. Um, also, too, uh, the uh, boom mines are also lethal for your troops. So I'm going to actually shock that cannon and the shock launcher i right now i don't have the gbe to take care of it i'm hoping the critters ever spark get, lets out will take care of those for me actually let's just ar artillery it now and then we're going to move all the way to the left side now there is a boom mine there guys i'm hoping it doesn't take it out good our medic should heal that tank up pretty nice and hefty now guys we got some gbe to clear now what we need to do is our next focus is that shock launcher guys we need to actually work on it or save up gbe look he's already firing we're gonna actually go wait till it gets out there we're gonna go in those trees up there and um, my wife's flares don't last super long so those tanks by the time they get there probably won't get there <laughs> so we move up and we got two minutes and 36 seconds guys now to take out this base and uh, we're making our rounds we're making our rounds here i'm thinking of actually flaring way over here to these residences over here so we can actually collect some really good decent gbe guys now you can see here again they're in the trees ever spark is letting out our critters and they're going all over the place they're even helping take out some buildings here while they can and uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to collect some gbe guys and we are going to rocket fire that uh, um, shock blaster um, we do what 6100 and it's 15,000 HP so we need like two of them and an artillery to actually end its life and so what we're doing we're collecting GBE all the what we can right now and I'm gonna do a double barrage right now on it and then an artillery and hopefully I, I don't know if I did a, a double barrage on it but um, we'll we'll let our troops kind of just go um, we have the, the shock blaster is actually poised now we're gonna actually shock I'm gonna shock the shock blaster and I'm gonna come actually over here that tank is tanking at my tank <laughs> and right now I'm just gonna throw a med kit here and um, a couple of our medics are getting targeted by the shock blaster which is uh, fine but we're gonna take this base out guys we didn't kill the shock blaster but and we did lose a medic or two but uh we did take the base out guys and we went around and it's done so yeah we lost some troops there got some intel and six uh, uh, life fragments guys two medics did go down on that no big deal we could just instant them right now we got the all troops uh res reservation reserved and we get them instantly remade so let's kind of climb our archipelago go a little northbound here there is dr t i will do a video on dr t guys just right now showing you kind of some tactics with the tanks i know the tanks are huge everybody knows how to use tanks but i'm just trying to show you um what i've kind of learned i never really use tanks but um i did take a little bit of time to play with them and see how to use them 
And uh, so I'm kind of showing you what I would do if I was lower level. And I hope you could follow the same. Let's look at Dagger D, guys, here. He's a level 52. Now we're going against a little higher of a level player. And I'm looking at his base. And if you look at this, this is epic, guys. His boom cannons, three of his boom cannons are way out of reach from the HQ. The only one we got to worry about, really, is this one right here, this level 9. Um, and it's pretty much toast. And a barrage artillery should take that thing out, no problem. And what we could do here is... Um, uh, I'm not even going to worry about that side because we can collect a lot of GBE on this side as well to get these shock launchers. They're only 8,000 each. So two barrages there. And we should pretty much have this in the bucket. So let's jump in, guys, and uh, get our roll on. So first and foremost, let's get rid of this with a barrage and an artillery. That should do the trick on this boom cannon. And then we'll come up here. And remember, I have to have, what was it? 30 GBE to take care of. So I got to make sure I have 30 GBE. So we'll work on this shock launcher first and uh, let him kind of kind of get messed up. And then uh, we'll actually throw an artillery on him. And uh, one more. We have 33 GBE, guys. So now we got to let our troops out. Otherwise, we won't be able to let all, all our tanks out, and that will not be good. So let's let all our troops out here with 16 GBE left. Let's actually flare right over here to this corner here. Um, that boom mine will probably hit one of my tanks, which is fine. Don't let it hit Everspark, please. Don't let it hit Everspark, please. No. Okay. Oh, they kind of, I think the critters did, <laughs> I think the critters did it too. So now what we're doing here, guys, is we're seeing that the, the, the tanks are going to start going for these buildings here. Now those cannons right there, guys, you can shock them. You can see the damage it does on him. It does a good chunk of damage, but our tanks should take him out. We're going to flare now over here by the sniper tower. We're going to shock the actual sniper tower machine gun. And then we're going to go for this other shock launcher, guys, right now in the making. So right now, while they're shocked, our, our tanks are going to take care of these tanks, these tanks, these sniper towers. My phone's on low battery. And um, we're going to just do that. And I'm actually going to shock over here now because that shock launcher is actually active. And we're going to back up here now, guys, to this kill spot here. The boom cannons, if you notice over there on the left, are not in range. That shock launcher is... We're going to actually hack that machine gun right there. And if you look, the shock launcher should actually go for that machine gun. Um, we're waiting and waiting. That sniper tower right there. We're going to actually smoke that tank right there because... Uh, that sniper tower is going for our troops. Now, guys, one thing I have to say here is I wish that we could have got that shock launcher because it is a pest right now, preventing my troops. Look at the critters. They're actually going. That sniper tower now is out. I'm actually going to actually just uh, med kit my tanks, and we're going to take this base out, guys. No problem. We did lose one tank. We did lose one tank. I wonder if it was the boom mine or maybe the sniper tower, but we did lose one tank. But if you look there, guys, we got it taken care of. This is a level 52 and uh, he's down now but look at all that green he has wow he's just trying to save up from re rewards almighty so we did have one casualty but again in the end the victory is ours so we can refresh that and move along we are at 18 minutes i'm going to do one more attack guys and call it a day here kind of seeing if, if you guys are learning anything let's go to here get that treasure chest dark and fox level 47 again if you look at the resource rewards you get a lot of good loot for this guys and i'm looking at his base his hq's at the top left of the screen and his boom cannons are way south here guys his shock launcher if we can get above that is out of reach i don't think he has any other shock launchers on this base so i'm uh, this is this should be pretty chill guys so what i'm thinking of doing here is since we don't have to destroy any boom cannons really we got one, two, and um, there's a shock launcher there. Um, I'd probably get rid of the shock launcher so it doesn't prevent our troops from traveling. Um, I don't see... Uh, there is a boom cannon right there. That needs to go. It's a level five. That's easy money, guys. Two artillery um, or just a barrage will actually take it out. Maybe we'll get the flamethrower with it. Maybe, the, may, yeah, we probably could get a good cash amount of GBE if we just use a barrage. So let's do it, guys. Let's jump into this and see where we go with this so first and foremost i'm gonna actually get rid of this shock launcher guys don't want this thing around absolutely not so we're gonna do that probably gonna take two artillery but we'll get that flamethrower with it and we'll go one there and yes okay next we're gonna just actually barrage right here and see if we can get that flamethrower with it maybe uh, we'll probably just get the boom cannon and no, nope, actually, no, we didn't. I guess the splash damage did not do a lot of direct damage to the boom cannon. So we're going to do that. Get some GBE, 42 GBE guys left. 
and now we're gonna actually flare our tanks right over here and uh, I'm gonna actually right now just to be safe I'm gonna actually shock once that cannon turns I'm gonna shock that I, I missed the actual uh, sniper tower but that's okay we're gonna do this and then we're gonna actually flare way up over here guys and I'm actually gonna with the GBE that I have if I can just smoke my 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 troops over like this we can get over there um, and that boom cannon might want to turn but we're gonna do that and they should look at those medics they are not I, I need my tanks to get targeted guys but my medics are just messing around down there which is fine we're gonna actually flare back way up here <laughs> my wife's flares are so weak guys they're so weak and uh yeah um our medics are kind of just dancing look they got machine guns shooting at them they aren't gonna die they're gonna be just fine we won't lose we shouldn't lose any medics guys we really shouldn't and what we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way up here we're waiting get some gbe guys if you look we have nothing really in our way to destroy our tanks without any medics around we're pretty looking pretty sit we're sitting pretty guys sitting so we're gonna go way up here and then get our, our tanks to move now again the rockets now without the medics are doing damage to our tanks but it's not going to do that much guys i really don't think it will i mean if i need to i will shock we are going to get a nice chunk of gbe um, our critters are kind of doing some work as well but we're up in the trees guys taking some free gbe we're already at 37 how's our crit our, our our medics down here just chilling with machine guns they're playing machine gun dancing with the machine guns it's pretty cool so what we're gonna do is just take out that and then we're gonna actually flare right up into the corner now and, and, and sit in a nice little pocket here guys I have enough GBE to throw med kits if I need to um, and this game this is game over for dark and Fox here um, let's just barrage the HQ and just put let's just make it worse let's just like slam it with a uh, barrage and let our tanks actually take it out and thank you very much dark and Fox down goes that and our critters are still down here uh, our, our medics and uh, there that's a no casualty uh, battle there guys Poor placement of his boom cannons, guys. I only need to take out one. So it's all key about scouting, making sure you do you go the right route with the less damage uh, per second on the defenses against your troops. You don't want to run into boom cannons. Boom cannons are the nightmare for tanks. Shock launchers can be a pest. They can they can they can hinder you from making progress um, and why tight sniper towers or cannons start taking you out and you don't want that so guys that's gonna do it's a long video I just uh, hope that helped a little bit um, uh, I know the the strategy the tank strategy has been around a long time this is not new news this is old news I have just personally never played with them that much before so um, it's kind of nice to know I'm teaching myself a little bit too as well so that's all I can offer you guys today with the boom beach lower level account my son boom I will definitely off off screen will clear her map with her boost I don't want to let that go to waste but for time's sake guys I'm gonna end it here and I appreciate everybody watching this and uh, leave, a, leave a thumbs up guys if you like this video if it helped you lower levels please um, let me give me some feedback and let me know where you are on boom beach so uh, I can better assist you in the future as well but stay tuned guys more low level game playing is coming up I will not forsake it and I will not forsake you guys. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.